Chase needs a kid driven on success and he understands the value of that. But I think he'd be also the first to tell you if it allows us to win more games, that's what he's gonna be all about. He really truly is a team competitor. That's not a common thinking way of a running back. I think it comes from having a twin brother. Sydney Brown is my twin brother. Growing up playing outside the park, um, just being kids and just, you know, going through so many things together. And he's my go-to guy if I need to talk about anything. We grew up in London, Ontario, Canada. It's about two hours west of Toronto. Grew up there with my mom and my nan, who kind of held it together there for my brother and I. Football was always something that we could go to. It was always something we were, we were naturally good at. Turning 16, we had an opportunity to go to Bradenton, Florida. We went to St. Stephen's Episcopal. The difference in culture was the first thing that I noticed, especially how serious they take sports in the United States. It was always our goal to play at the same school and you know, kind of go throughout college together, but then that kind of split. Chase wanted to be a pilot for some reason, and he kind of took that on to Western Michigan, and I had an opportunity to actually come to Illinois. Brown able to bounce it outside again. Another 15-yard run here by Chase Brown. It was difficult not being together for like the first few months. He would tell me, hey, if I were to transfer, like what, what do the coaches think? And I'm like, I, I don't know. So I would just kind of, I kind of brought it up at the time and just threw it up in the air. Hey, Chase is, Chase is gonna transfer. And I think the coaching staff here at the time really liked Chase. I just saw how happy he was and I wanted that. And when Illinois called, it was a no brainer for me. It was like, okay, this is what we should have done straight out of high school. My mind and his mind was like, okay, let's let's help this program win. When you first got here, it was like you're trying to prove something. I'm trying to prove something, but I think it goes back to high school, where you and I used to compete all the time. And I know we don't go against each other now, but dude, I'm telling you that you you got you got that switch. I don't know what it is when it's just you and I on the field. It's like it's like something to prove. I think you just have like. A I don't want to say short temper, but like... <laughs> Me? Yeah, I just, I think out of all people, I can like flick the switch on you real quick. Do you remember COVID being in the garage? Working out? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, we spent like our whole stipend check on gym equipment. We spent too much money. <laughs> yeah, I know. It pushed me because I know there were some, some days I did not want to work out at all. And then I heard, you know, you start blasting the music in the garage. I'm like, damn, I, I better get up there before you know, he gets too far in the workout. There's not many times your best two leaders, one on offense and one defense, just happen to be from the same house, from the same mom and dad. They're both kind of different in temperament, but both in the same way that they kind of approach things. So it's two of the Big Ten's best. <laughs> All right. What's up, Mom? <laughs> hey. Hey, how are you? Good. So we Good. call and say what's up. What's going on? Um, Is that the man, man? What's up? How you doing? We're just finishing dinner, so. Oh, I can't tell how huh? you got the apron on and stuff. Yeah. Huh. There's so much love for everybody. And my mom's hilarious, and my nan's hilarious. My sister's just insane. Where, where's <laughs> Is Maya there? Where's Maya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How? <laughs> My family support has been another reason why, you know, I work so hard and why I want to take this game as far as I can because I want to do it for them. All right, Ma. All right, Man, guys, I love, love you. you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. Love you. COVID limited a lot of people from going home. It was really like a year and a half, two years, we weren't able to see my mom. She's got some health issues that she deals with, which keeps her in Canada a lot of the time, but you know, whenever she can come and make a game, I know it means, it means a lot to both my brother and I. The last game that my mom came to was September 2019. And then just at the end of 
the 2021 season. I had heard that she was gonna try to make the trip and then she called me the night before and said she just couldn't do it. I just kind of put it aside. I'm like, you know, I was, I was used to it at that point, um, but it would have been nice to have her there. We talk a lot in this program about family and what it means. So when I found out she was coming and she wanted to surprise him, I thought I could help facilitate this a little better. And that's when I went up to him and said, hey, we're gonna have a camera follow you guys, just about interaction with a fan. It's a game in late November, it's cold. You know, the last person I think I'm gonna see is my mom at the end of the line I walk. What? No way. <laughs> drop I felt sick to my stomach and the tears <laughs> started coming out of me it's like I couldn't control it from London Ontario to Champaign Illinois is about seven and a half hours she left at like 3 30 in the morning to get to our 11 o'clock game and she drove through the night because of those special things those special relationships especially when you're trying to do something here at Illinois that hasn't been done before you have to pull on those emotional strings that kind of help them propel past the adversity of the past.